breaking stuff. He had to leave. He left us last January. 14 <laughs> months later, he's a coach of the year candidate. And because of all that, he is required to talk to us right now. Rick Tockett, we're already finding you. You're about 30 seconds late for this one. You got to deal with Gretz. Go ahead. <laughs> I look like a clown on that piece. <laughs> <laughs> like, thanks a lot, guys. Appreciate all right, it. Talk. Hey, listen, happy Easter. Uh, yeah. Why don't you talk a little bit about getting there last year late in the season, how much of an advantage that's been for you to get to know not only the players, but the organization and the travel, everything that goes with being in Vancouver. Yeah, Gretz, that was huge for me. Um, getting that 30 game trial, um, getting the players to know each other, um, you know, a lot of meetings, individual meetings with the guys, um, even organizational wise, trying to, you know, the direction that we wanted to go you know, with management, knowing the owner, actually, you know, having a lot of dinners with the owner, trying to, you know, pick his brain on where he wanted to see his team go. So I think it was a big head start for me. And then going into training camp, guys knew what I wanted. Um, and then we kind of went from there. Talk biz here. Uh, going back to last year, like Wayno, the defending aspect. You guys gave up close to 300 goals last year. And that, to me, has been the biggest difference so far. What have you done? Because like, going back to last year, this year, you've cut down more than a goal against per game. Yeah, well, you know, Biz, we used to talk all the time in Ace um, about defending the puck. You know, you, it, it's a game of mistakes. You're going to make a mistake. It's not making that duplicate, that, thir that third mistake. I felt when, when I first got here, we'd make a mistake, and then the second guy would run out of position, all of a sudden it's the back door. Demko has no chance. So my philosophy, and you guys know that from talking to you guys, is making the goalie play half the net. So if a guy does make a mistake, let's put ourselves in a position to give them the the worst possible chance, which is a B chance, maybe outside the dots. And I think that's, they've bought into that. And uh, we, we're not duplicating the mistakes. We'll make mistakes, but it seems they're not as egregious now. Talk, it's Ace. Happy Easter. Mm -hmm. When you guys are playing well, give us a few things to look yeah. towards to tell us that you guys are on top of your game. Yeah, I think all coaches say the same thing, but we're playing fast north style. When we start mm -hmm. to regroup the puck too much, we start getting the pucks around the walls too much. I think that's when we get in trouble. You know, we want to punch pucks up. We want, you know, our forecheck when it's on, it's really good. Um, we're getting pucks east-west in their end. Um, you know, we're, we're not a sh like a big shot volume team, but when we do have it possession, if the you know if there's not a shot that we want to take where you're gonna you know it's kind of a low percentage shot, we like to hold on to it. It's almost like Craig Ruby style when he played uh, when he was coach for St. Louis. I kind of like that. You know, try to hold the puck a little bit longer until you can find the right shot. So, um, And then I, I, I just think if, if our special teams can hang in there for us, our five on the play will keep us in the games. And then you look for timely goals from some of the big guys. I think that's really who we are. And obviously our goaltender is one of the best goalies in the league. I've had a chance to talk to you a few times, Talk. Um, and I know how important and how much uh, your staff means to you and how well-liked they are. Can you talk a couple minutes about how important your group has been? <clears throat> Yeah, I mean, I got a, I got a great group of the coaches. I mean, I'm very lucky. Uh, you walk in the room, you got Adam Foote, you know, two-time Stanley Cup champ, an unreal defensive defenseman. Sergey Gonchar won a couple of cups, you know, has a shot for the Hall of Fame. Uh, then you got the twins, Han Hank and Daniel. Uh, thinking outside the box. We were actually talking about Minnesota and pulling the goalie, and we, we were talking about, can you do this in a regular season with 20 seconds left? Maybe you hold the shot for the last five seconds, and you go for that one shot like a la basketball. Those, those are the things, the ideas they bring to me. You know, Mikey O, who's done a nice job with our PK. We were terrible last year. We're starting to climb the ladder a little bit, you know, and then our, we got great video coaches. So I, I walk into that room, and I get really challenged by, a lot, uh, by, by great hockey minds. Uh, I'm going to finish up here, Talk. Uh, I looked at Biz. He pointed at me. I think you lost him at egregious. He's, uh, he's still wondering. Stop right it. Uh, oh, what did you learn all those fancy words? You got north of the border or what? You starting to read a dictionary? I started hanging around with uh, more intelligent people, oh, Biz. There we go. That's what right, thanks for joining us. <laughs> yeah, I'm sorry. I, I just have one. Listen, you talked about your staff. I, I, I'm, I'm kind of curious because I'm almost surprised you and I didn't talk about this earlier. Yeah. Uh, who would you say are your coaching influences? Uh, geez, well, over the years, I mean, like, you know, the, like you, they learn from everybody. Scotty Bowman, Mike Keenan, all those Jim Schaffel back in the day, more of a father figure. So to collect a group. But, uh, you know, this, and Gretz knows this. I talk to Gretz every day and pick his brain. But, you know, I, I, John Cooper's a guy that I check in with sometimes. Craig Bruby, obviously, one of my best friends. You know, I, I check in with him a lot. Travis Green. So there's about three or four guys in the, in, in the league I kind of bounce ideas off so it's a small circle but it's a circle that really helps me out 
Talk, we All really right. appreciate the time, man. Congrats on Good all the today. success. Awesome, and, buddy. Listen, I know we Coach kept you a long time. Don't have PR start complaining to us, buddy. <laughs> <laughs> Go out there. Enjoy today. Well, Liam, this is the first time Biz only asked one question. When I was there, he, he asked seven questions. <laughs> I know. So, I know. I, I, I like don't know if I'm, around around I'm intimidating you, Biz. Am I intimidating you? I got a little scared? less selfish <laughs> as the years gone he's, on. He's too busy reading the dictionary for that word. If it makes you feel better, he's still looking at the wrong camera. I actually had two more, but we got to make sure you – win this hockey game and lock up first in that division. You're right. All right. That's true. Good luck. One game at a time. See you guys. Right. You got it. All right, Thanks talk. again, Talk. Good luck, man. Yeah, and then